The Afghan National Police, the ANP, can count on EU training until coalition troops withdraw in December 2014, an extension of 18 months. Civilian Operations Commander Hans-Jörg Harbour visited Afghanistan to plan for the extension of the current EU police mission mandate, or UPOL, with an original end date of 31st of May 2013. A key issue is the infiltration of police units by Taliban insurgents, who then go on to target their Western trainers. The enemy knows that the ANP is developing day by day, and they're very concerned. That's why they continue to focus their attacks on the ANP. Besides Kabul, UPOL has training units in the main provinces, namely in Kunduz, where courses are given in cooperation with Dutch and German military forces from NATO. Crime scene investigation is one of the topics taught. Law students are invited to observe, including female ones specifically interested in working in the field of gender violence. When I took the decision that I want to become a lawyer, uh, definitely uh, there was a lot of challenges because to reach uh, in this position. But uh, I decided because our people, especially our female, have one female needs a female lawyer because they can say their uh, problems um, easily to a, a female lawyer. The annual EU budget for this mission is around 60 million euros, on top of another 200 million on development programs. After 10 years, the EU hopes to leave some sort of legacy. Sustainability is important. Train the trainers so that the Afghans can continue the work themselves, even without us, and concentrate on a few centers outside Kabul for doing the training. It's welcome news for the Afghan government but it needs to be ready to stand alone. The EU civilian operations commander informed the Afghan government that the mission can be extended, but international troops will finish the mission in 2014. The mission will therefore need to be restructured, and so he asked the government in Kabul for proposals. The final decision will be taken next summer.